So I just finished the live stream that I just did. I don't know how many words I got, but I got over a thousand, I believe. But now I'm going to go finish the last episode of the K-drama that I'm watching. And I'm very, very, very nervous for it. I don't want it to be over as well. But like a lot has to happen. And I'm really afraid like something won't happen. So I'm just like nervous. I'm not, no spoilers, don't worry. But like, <sighs> but when I finish that, if I'm not like on a TV show hangover, which I probably will be, then it's time for more writing. But uh, for now, we have an hour and 30 minutes to watch on Netflix. So <laughs> wish me luck. <laughs> Update. It is finished. I don't know what to do with myself except edit tomorrow's video because it's almost midnight and I don't have it edited yet. So I need to do that. But uh, it's been a long time since I've finished a TV show that... Uh, <laughs> good. I'm not okay. <laughs> There's some stains on your photo. They all cracks on your rusty frame. Stuck kicking off the vlog with me stepping in poop and tracking it all over the shed so that's great <laughs> but um few things to talk about my hair is different it's very brown um i got it redone today because i'm in a wedding on saturday and i just wanted to have it like freshened up a little bit so we just did like a, one of those things like called i think it's called like a gloss anyway that's new um I also got my official, well not official, official, it's just like the pretty proof copy, but the proof copy of Christmas as we know it. Come on friends. There we go. I went to Hobby Lobby today, got quite a few things, but I can't show you any of them until I'm ready to decorate my shed for Christmas, which I'm trying to figure out when I should. Like a part of me wants to wait until like after Thanksgiving, but then I feel like that's very late. Like that's, then I have less than a month to enjoy it. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Let me know in the comments, when should I decorate for Chris Christmas? When should I decorate for Christmas? Like should I decorate, I don't know. I still have a few things I wanna pick up from like Shein where I can get stuff for like dirt cheap. Um, Hobby Lobby when I went today had 50% off all of their Christmas decor, which Boom, mind blown, had to buy stuff. I actually only went there for candles and I saw that they had 50% off and I was like, fudge. And I also got something else super exciting in the mail. It's right here. Should I show you? It's the Christmas as we know it poster! Which I have one last poster board, but I, like I don't really have a spot to put it. it uh, I can't hang it now because I don't have any more of those like little papers, and like this is all like this is we're still in full fall mode. 
you know? Usually I don't step in the poop because usually we do good about like cleaning it up. But um, earlier today, one of the dogs went outside and like, here I show you. I mean, not the poop, don't worry. They always poop like in my path. But do you see all those leaves? All those poop colored leaves? It's almost impossible to find poop and poop colored leaves. And it was just a miserable. <sighs> so, didn't find it, stepped in it, tracked it. All in my shed, so we just. Now I'm going to be taking off my shoes before I enter the shed. That's what I should have been doing in the first place, but like, you know, I'm dumb. It's fine. This is technically a NaNoWriMo vlog. So I know y'all are like, Sarah, what? Like, give us your NaNoWriMo updates. Because, like, you know, that's what this is supposed to be. Anyway, we're talking about NaNoWriMo. So I actually haven't really written since day. I don't know. It's been two days at this point. Today's the 9th, or is it the day of the 8th? Gosh, I don't even know. Oh, today's the 10th. Okay. Uh, I have probably haven't written since the 7th. I filmed a few, like, angsty clips. Don't know if they're going to be in this vlog or in the previous vlog. You know, I was having a very hard day. Actually, a very hard few days, past two days. And honestly, I think it's just mental personal reasons like nothing like happened I just think um but I'm feeling better now but I haven't written and I I don't know I'm really behind I'm only like 12,000 words right now maybe 13 I'm really behind and it's discouraging and stressful because I, I don't want to be behind that's the last thing I want to be <sighs> But I do hope you liked my angsty clips because I really enjoyed filming those. <sighs> As for like the past few days, like everybody needs to be in their feels, you know? Like sometimes you just need to be in their feels and that was just definitely me. I was in my feels and I'm out of my feels now and uh... I'm trying not to like to stress too much about like how much I need to get done and how much I haven't gotten done. It's hard, you know? It's hard like when you feel like you're behind and like you're like falling behind. Like I feel like I'm falling behind in nano and my proofreads and like so many things and I'm just a little stressed. But it's okay. So what I'm gonna do right now, um, I'm actually gonna be taking some photos with this book. Um, because I always take photos if you guys like are new to my channel. I do take photos insert here of all my books when I start to release them um, If you're curious about how I do my flat lay photos, I do have a video up on my channel I'll have it linked in the cards and down below and uh, Yeah, I'm gonna turn on the heater because it's a little chilly out here. Oh, there's a squirrel And I'll check in with you guys Hopefully when I begin writing which is hopefully sometime today <laughs> Never at a good spot when I want to do a 10k day. Right, yeah. I feel like the last time I tried to do it last week. You and I, we are so random. You bring the darkness to the lights, play the atom. I ignore the fact that this will never last. All right, so it is like three o'clock in the morning on November 12th. I'm actually getting ready for bed right now, and I figured while I take my makeup off, we can chit chat about NaNoWriMo because I realized I was editing my vlog, I don't know what day it was, it was a few days ago, and it was so, no it was yesterday, lord the days just blend together. It was so lacking content. And I hadn't talked about like nano updates, I wanted to film a clip. But today is technically Friday, so this video is supposed to go live in I don't know how many hours. Might as well be productive while we do it and take the makeup off and wash my face. So for NaNoWriMo, I mentioned it a little bit in the vlog um, that I really haven't written. I'm at 13,000 now. I really haven't touched it. 
Yesterday when we last talked, I was going to go out to eat, go get some dinner by myself and just write while I was there. And I did do that in my um, notebook, but I didn't like transfer anything onto the laptop. So I don't know how many words that I wrote. I had client work all day today, so I couldn't really get to the manuscripts today, which was unfortunate. And tomorrow is going to be more client work, but I also have to go to the um, wedding rehearsal because I have a wedding this weekend. Um, so that's going to take up a lot of my time. It's been a long time since we've sat down in the um, bathroom and had a chit chat. Do you guys remember when we used to do that for, I think it was Camp NaNoWriMo, April 2020. Oh, time flies. I... I, I haven't been writing in NaNo, and it feels sad. Like, I'm at 13,000 words, which is very behind in the manuscript, and, like, the timeline for NaNo to hit 50K. And I, I just feel a bit overwhelmed with the prospect of, of doing anything. I don't know why, to be honest. There's so much to do, and there's a small window of time to do it. And the idea of having so much to do in such a small window of time kind of like... I don't want to say it stresses me out because I don't feel stressed. I feel more... I don't know. I don't know what I feel. I feel like this is ending on like a, a dull... Not dull. What's the word? Kind of like somber mood. I have not... Um, I mean, it's 3 o'clock in the morning, so I'm tired. <laughs> and so that's why I'm quiet. And I spent the past, I don't know, several hours, maybe like five hours by myself not talking. So it just feels kind of weird to talk. Um, but I did stream with Jesse Elliott today and that was super fun. You guys would have seen a clip about that. You know, I have client work tomorrow or like technically today. But it's not a lot of client work, so I'm hoping that I can get it done. And then transfer what I have in my notebook to my laptop. Try to catch up. What, what word count do I need to be at today? I need to be at 20,000 words today, and I'm only at 13,000. So I'm normally a fast writer. I'm normally a quick writer. And um, normally I don't ever fall behind in nano. I mean, if I'm not remembering correctly, I, I, just, I can't remember a time where I fell this far behind in nano. Like, I feel like I'm always finishing early. Like, I don't, I think I've always won nano whenever I attempted it. Like, I can't remember a time not fit winning Nano, because I would always buy winter shirts. I'm wearing, one, oh, I'm wearing my NaNoWriMo shirt right now. How fun is that? So I can't remember a time where I was behind. I'm, that might have been a thing. Usually I do 10K days, and I get ahead, you know? So it just feels... I think the prospect of, like, falling behind is... I don't want to say the word stressful, but it's like... You know what I mean? Like, your, your inside just kind of feel like there's like a butterfly flapping and it's very uncomfortable and like, hmm, anxious. Is that the word that I'm looking for? Is anxious the word that I'm looking for? It's 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm sorry. I guess it just makes you feel anxious to, to fall 7,000 words behind. Look, I didn't post a vlog on Wednesday when I should have. I, it's just, I was going to post it when I got home and I looked at the footage and I literally, is there a smudge on the camera? That it literally is. That's funny. I was gonna post it when I got home. I only had like two clips. So like even like it slipped my mind to vlog. Hopefully this clip wasn't too much of a bummer. I'm at 13,000 words for Nano. That smudge is bothering me. Give me one second. <laughs> I love to be busy. I love to be working on something all the time. I have like workaholic tendencies when I'm not procrastinating. So this, I've been constantly a go, go, go. And I think it's catching up to me. I think it has, I think it's a mixture of, of a bunch of things, like my project for one, the amount of things I have to work on for two, and the amount of commitments I made for three. There's just a bunch of things happening this week. This week and the beginning of next week, they're, they're really insane. So I think that's why I have been kind of, you know, under the radar, not posting much, not like why I haven't been like really working on anything that much because I've just been... Just trying to juggle a ton of things. Writing that much. I meant, I meant to say writing, not working. Now I have to edit this vlog and get it ready for tomorrow. This is a big bummer of a clip. And I'm very sorry that it's not like ending on a happier note. 
But I think my mood is just because that I am so not, I'm not even tired. I'm just been up and silent for the past however many hours. So it just feels odd talking to a camera. <laughs> Technically I'm talking to you guys. So I hope this doesn't come across as like too complainy. Um, it's just me sharing my thoughts right now with you guys that it's been kind of one of those weird weeks. I really want to get caught up in Nano today, to, you know, it's Friday. But um, yeah, thank you guys for watching today's vlog. I know I missed Wednesdays and I'm really sorry about that. And um, I've been getting a few questions about what my next live stream will be. And I want to do a few pop-ups next week. Maybe like one pop-up next week. I don't know why I said a few. Um, so be sure to subscribe and turn on those bell notifications if you don't want to miss any writing sprints. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and tap that subscribe button because I post videos every week. I try to do them three times a week, but today it was, this week it was two times a week. So I hope that's okay. And uh, yeah, you guys can pre-order Christmas as we know it. The link is down below. Um, we have a goal of 50 pre-orders and, uh, yeah, signed copy pre-orders are going to be coming soon. And that's all that I think I have to say. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I am Sarah Sutton. I'm an indie author of five, soon to be six, young adult romance books. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.